Happy holidays, everyone. I'm Johanna. Today, I'm at Ashwood Creek, a subdivision of Pulte Homes in Naperville, Illinois, prepping for a holiday party. I want to surprise my guests with some elegant recipes using Aunt Nellie's pickled beets and Holland onions. So let's get in the kitchen live. We're gonna make a galette, top it with a delicious beet and gorgonzola salad. So a really nice wow effect dish. Always, always, always have puff pastries. Frozen, obviously, so you wanna defrost it in the fridge. Um, and while it's still cold is the best time to work with it. You don't want it too warm because it really just becomes all over the place. Before we do anything, make sure that you spray. Spray, spray, spray. <laughs> it's like my hairspray. And you can never have it up. So we don't want that sticking to the bottom. Put your puff pastry down. You don't need to roll it out. You want if you want to, you can. Okay, but I don't like to, I don't like to roll it. It's too much work. We're gonna make it very easy. We're gonna add some olive oil. Okay, so olive oil, spread it all around. We have here some oranges. And we're just going to put that on here, like so. Super simple, super easy. And you don't want to overdo it. You just want like that sprinkle of um, oranges because we're going to add it also to the salad. And then we have some gorgonzola cheese or blue cheese. Any stinky cheese will do. Add some to the bottom there. Beautiful, beautiful. And we have here some dried basil leaves. Now I wouldn't recommend um, putting the fresh because when you put it in the oven, it's gonna burn. So we're just doing a little bit of that. And I think that's it. Oh, we wanna cramp the edges. For you bakers out there, you guys are so good at this. But me, I just do whatever. <laughs> I think might look good. It takes practice. Cooking takes practice, even for me. Just fold over, no big deal, no big fuss. As long as there's some kind of fancy edge, right? Perfect, look at that. We're gonna put this in the oven, 425, and just for a few minutes, you wanna keep your eye on it, No, probably no more than 10 to 15 minutes. So right now, even now, it's just like kind of a cracker. It's like really great if you have a cheese board or charcuterie, even just on its own and you could top beets. What we're gonna do is add a really great beet and gorgonzola salad. So you go to the store and grab the pre-made mix, which is fabulous because you don't have to think about it. So we have here our salad mix. We're gonna add, this is one jar of pickled beets. You wanna keep it whole, you can, but I sliced it a little bit smaller just so it's easier to pick up because we're making this kind of like hors d'oeuvres. People are walking around, having their wine and their cocktails. So we're gonna put the entire jar. So I saved the liquid for this because we're gonna make martinis in just a second. I have some more oranges right here. Even the look of it, green, red, orange. Such beautiful colors. We're gonna add a little olive oil. Because the beets are pickled, it has a really nice, um, you know, the sweetness and balance of the tartness and sweetness, and it has that juice. You don't need to add, plus the oranges are so, um, you know, they have the juice, the natural juices from the oranges. All you need to do is toss in a little bit of olive oil and it creates its own dressing already. This is good to do very last minute when your guests are arriving already. Pile on the cheese, because who doesn't love that? My favorite combination is beets and gorgonzola cheese. It is my favorite for real. Look how pretty the salad, and it's just the salad. Now what we're gonna do is take our galette. So I just took when it came out the oven, I took a pizza cutter, put it on my cutting board and cut it into slices. You could do as big or as little as you'd like. I like this size, I think is very perfect when they have a plate, right? So, or even just a napkin. But what's nice is that you can top it on top of here. Top your beet and gorgonzola right on there. 
with the orange slices. It's such a classic combination, but we're serving it up just a little bit different. Look at it here. Look at that. So beautiful. I'm going to plate one up so you can see. Let's see. So you get one. Serve it to your guests. I want a little bit of that. A beet on top. A glass of wine. It's perfect. Beautiful. So we're going to put that here. Oh, beautiful. See, look. My spread's looking pretty nice now, huh? 